Blues, barbecues, and women talking about blokes. Ah, blokes. All my friends don't go fishing. With Nathan Goodwin, Gary Powers, and Joy Dobe. This is the Saturday Fishing Show. Good to be with you this morning. Uh, we're here till 10, as we mentioned, and um, yeah, plenty to get through, Gaz, on the show today. We've got uh, another studio full. Oh, I have, mate. We've got um, Beavs and Ronnie have dropped in. We've got Jimbo on the phone and on the mic when the boys head away, and we've got Nighty as well. And uh, oh, mate, it is good fun when you have a nice family fish with, uh, with some out of towners. We've also got um, Beaver and Ronnie in today, Nathan. Yes, morning, you, Beef. G'day. How's things? Oh, good, mate. Good. Uh, 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 anyone out there that's on Facebook needs to like the uh, Blokes page on Facebook. There's uh, there's some great photos on there at the moment. Mate, I liked it the other day. That yes, makes three yeah. of us. Yeah, I followed suit. I, I think I liked it because you liked it and because yeah, you no, liked it and I that. liked it. I think yeah. everyone else should like it. Yeah, there's three, well, four then. Yeah, yeah. Did that you double good. like it? Yeah, something like oh, that. Right. Yeah, I've I got two or three alias oh, right. names yeah. in Facebook, yeah, so I can stalk people. Yeah. G'day, Ronnie. How you going, Nate? Yeah, good, mate. Well, we're all well. We're all yeah. well, except Nighty by the sounds of it. Yeah, mate. Well, yeah. I never yeah. get a wet deck, mate. I never go out fishing, do I? <laughs> no. No, no. no. Fishing. Oh, <laughs> you, you, reckon you, could, you reckon you could incorporate it, that into a song somewhere, Ron, you know? And, <laughs> I reckon, hey? mate. That's the first hey. time I've heard it. Yeah. That's... Every man needs a wet deck. Yeah, I don't know. You'll think of something, I'll Ronnie. I'll work on it, mate. Show initiative, show initiative. Uh, mate, if he's going to get the wet deck in the song, he's got to get the uh, not white hair in there. He's sitting up here with his dyed hair again. Oh, is he? It's not yeah, the he's, same. It's he's fading, all, mate. He's getting all polished up for the big mm. premiere at Townsville. It's starting to grow grey from underneath, though. I can yeah. see it's starting to work yeah. its way it pushes up. Pushes through. It's like a good grapevine. It's starting to overtake everything. <laughs> <laughs> mate, they're, they're out at the towers as well, the boys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, great new news, Beef. What's happening there, mate? Yeah, well, we almost have to get out the canister and cream on this film because it's spreading like a rash. So what, after we did um, last week's show, yeah, um, the World Theatre and Charters Towers give us a call and they, um, yeah, basically said, we, we'd like to show you a film. And I thought, oh, great, when? You know, I thought I'd have a couple of weeks' notice and they said Father's Day. I'm like, street, that's only a week away. So we sent them the digital cinema package and the one sheets and uh, apparently they got an article there in the uh, Northern Miner, um, yesterday's Northern Miner, and they're going to show up Father's Day at 1.30. It would be great for the dads, yeah. So yeah, all the mate, charters absolutely. Towers, Beautiful. Get out there and uh, and check the movie out because it's on here from the fifth to the eleventh at Warina. Yep, for starters, they'll probably show it for a little bit longer. They want to see how that first week goes, obviously. And yep. um, yeah, and so it's like, wow, it's really. Yeah, who thought a movie about fishing would be getting so many bums on seats? It's great. Well, it's mate, two well, bags. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what it <laughs> is. He's the man. Yeah. That's He's what it man. is. That's that's, that's all. His it acting is. ability. Yeah, the only one. <laughs> yeah. I uh, I'm actually going along on Sunday to see it at Warina. What what day are you blokes making your limo arrival I, we, yeah we i don't know we've even had time to sit down and work out when we're all going to get together but that's all right i'm yeah, sure you'll I'll, sit at some plush restaurant this morning eating bacon and eggs you'll have plenty of time <laughs> but oh, we'll i've heard the do. limo's a hk station wagon though <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, mate, a land cruiser pulled in the back mate don't laugh my first ever car was a hk sedan well my first ever car was a hk station wagon is it i had a sedan yeah. Dad, did you? I, well, yeah, Dad's, Dad bought it. Oh, H2. I had the money, 400 bucks. Dad no. bought it for me, <laughs> and uh, and it was a good old story. It's only ever been owned by a little old lady who drove it to church and back. Um, it had only done three or 400 miles. It had done hardly anything, and uh, it was a great car. I drove it all over the joint. She it was, must have been the same woman that owned my FE when I got it, eh? That was, yeah, lady. only drove it to church and back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, she I, drove it to church. It was cool church's yeah. drag strip. <laughs> oh, mate, we, uh, we had... We had some good fun in it. We uh, we did rabbit shooting out of it, so oh, we had yeah. 150 pair rabbit on the back seat one day to take it into hay, and we used to shoot out of it, and we'd have <laughs> bales of wool in the boot. And oh. I had her on the farm, so it was she was a good old good old car. But yes, you, you could turn up in that. Yeah. <laughs> no, we bought a jeep, mate. 
<laughs> we, bought, oh, we bought a Jeep. No. <laughs> no, you can't have a Jeep. No, I think 6.30. Well, one of, the screen one of those Sunday. plastic battery-operated toy ones at Toys R Us. <laughs> <laughs> I was just remembering that ad on TV. Yeah. Remember, remember Posh and Bex were naming their kids after where they'd been conceived, that the cities were where they'd been conceived? Can I mean, you imagine Australian kids, FJ, you know, FJ Holden and... <laughs> yeah, I'd have to name Chum Creek. <laughs> if, you, if, if you listen to Joy's story, mine would be called Bottom of Me Boat. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, I, I think Horton will be one of them. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah. We, yeah. now we know who had the wet deck. <laughs> yeah. it, it wasn't true. It wasn't true. I got a funny story about it all, but it, it's not for radio. I'll tell you one day. Not about um, the kids, but um, when I went to get fixed up, so I couldn't have any more kids. So, but it's not a radio story. I'll tell you. <laughs> it was very. It was funny, and it, and it involved. A um, a knife, a specimen jar, <laughs> and a very a, a very well known fishing magazine that has models in it with fishing gear. What you, uh-huh. what, what you do is bundle up all those little stories, whack them in a feature film. I tell you, <laughs> yeah. oh, well, if you can't no, go on there, no mate, it was only a thirty second feature oh, film. Okay. <laughs> short film uh, short. Well, there's nothing wrong with a short <laughs> film. So they no. seem to get a bit of publicity. Yeah. Susan Bang. Gibbs went to the water. Game on. Saving. Bang. Game yeah. on. Now, as, yeah. as, as a layman, okay, is GIMP an acronym? for something. So uh, I'm just yeah. thinking of what, sending What it gimp. is, it's a soft plastic <laughs> lure soft made plastic, locally. Sorry, yeah. oh, okay, yep. And yep. The, the gimp part of it is get into my plastics. Oh, okay. Is yep. the acronym of oh, it. Okay. Yes, so very clever play on words. Not yep. that Naughty is a gimp <laughs> fishing with it. It's get into my plastic. The, oh, awesome. these, yeah. Look, the bloke that makes them, um, the bloke that makes them, it, very clever in how he's done it, right? Um, it, it, they're very simple. Um, when you look at these lures, you go, hmm, but they are deadly. Uh, they work like finger mark, threadfin salmon, barra and big barra. Um, uh, anything eats them. I've caught Spaniards on them, right? <coughs> and they work very well. Oh, wow. And they're very, very um, uh, the, the, the uh, res- sturdy. Yeah, the, uh, different to your Threaty Busters, your Trans Ams, they're a soft vibe lure. Um, they're a smaller version to what Ben has. The Quick Catch now have a bigger version, but their compound of silicon rubber is a, is softer than the, yeah. what Ben uses on the gimps. Ben uses a harder. Um, doesn't it, it's it's a different style of vibration because we're all working on vibration of these soft fish. They don't you don't cast them out and retrieve it. You you rip them now. You drop them into deep yeah. holes, ledges around deep snags and you rip them through the snags now and that's what how the boys are fishing um ben's is a harder compound so it stands up a bit better hence why you can get spaniards and stuff on it and um a different style it still vibrates but it swims away a bit more than the others so it's a a whole different style of of fishing yeah it's a um we actually i've actually caught barramundi on these things trolling them oh wow so we put them at the back and troll them troll them real slow like one knot Yep. Right. And I've caught a barrel doing that. Okay. Because I had two it? blokes on board that couldn't lure cast for, to save themselves, so I thought it was safer mm. to troll them rather than have them <laughs> racing lures well, around the, with trebles. The barra caught in blokes. That's Yeah, the guy was trolling, the guy mm. who caught those barra. So it was interesting to see his We technique. should have got him some gimps <laughs> for the show. <laughs> I, I don't know. You have a look at the movie, it looks like they're fishing from the bank. So, no, no, it was in a, in a boat, and he was yeah, trolling, oh, along, yeah. trolling along near a snag. It was, yeah, it was, oh, they look I'll like let, they'll rank it up. I'll let you know, mate. After Sunday, that's when I'll be there. I'm going, going to work. Now, um, now, yeah, uh, let's get back to blokes. Um, so let's uh, let's talk about the premieres, um, and then we'll come back and talk about some more fishing because Ronnie and Beef aren't there all day with us this morning. So, uh, so when are we looking at Charters Towers again, Beef? Oh, that's um, tomorrow, Father's Day. Yep. Yep. So, and then they're going to show it again on the eighth of September. So, yep. So, that's so yeah. tomorrow and the 8th of Sunday, September. Yeah. Yep, both around yeah. 1.30, I understand. Now, so. whereabouts at Charters Towers? Okay, the World Theatre in yep. Moss, Mossman Street, I think it's called. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yep. yeah. Yeah, so. perfect. Lovely uh, lovely little spot. And I think the great day, too, about tomorrow, if you go up there and you want to have a bit of a look at it, there's so much to do oh, um, around Charters Towers. It, it, it's... Um, 
even on a Sunday, you know, you go up there and do the tour of the Venus Battery and uh, there's the horse and cart rides, which are, are close by to town. Um, just so much history in the town. All the, all the old uh, antique shops are open. It's a great little spot to go and have a look at. Well, even if people want to go grab a counter meal, a couple of beers, see yeah, the movie, yeah. go home to sleep, you know, yeah. what a, what yeah. a Father's Day. Inspire <laughs> you for a, a uh, golf trip. Yeah. I don't know. Are you, are you guys going up tomorrow? No. Um, I, was, I was planning to, but um, Father's Day is sort of, yeah, some things have cropped up for Father's Day, so I've got to, yeah. Got to stay. Of, what, yeah. what, your, your couple of kids have read their head up and said, hey, Beef, you're my dad. Oh, the, 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 <laughs> well, they, they're, they're calling me stepdad now, so I don't mind that. So, yeah, so, um, yeah but they, they want to make me breakfast in bed, so I'm like, hey, Oh, really? Oh, well, that's yeah. all right, mate. Breakfast in bed, one thirty movie, plenty of time. What are you going to do, walk to the towers or something? <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see how we go. But, um, yeah. yeah, we'll probably pop out for the Eight, eight to see how that one goes yeah. on the eight. So um, yeah, it's always a good You'll trip just, out there. What about and Warina? Just, yeah, I was going to say Warina. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's um, September five to eleven, and I don't know. We're looking maybe going on the Friday, and I'll probably go to a couple of sessions, but um, especially the Friday night. So they said Friday nights aren't all that busy at Warina, which is odd. I thought end of the working week, but footy think, Friday night footy's on. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, sa- Saturday nights are the busier nights. Yeah, I think maybe yeah. make yeah. it Saturday night. Yeah, I'll, go, so. I'll I, Sunday. I think they've got a screening. Um, Sunday at six thirty. I'll See what you could one. what you could do there, Beave, is you could dress up as the usher. <laughs> and hold one of them little torches, yep. and you could just sneak around and see who's laughing and making comment about the movie. <laughs> well, get that, your feedback. I actually heard someone said the best place to be at the at the end of your film is in a cubicle in in the the toilets. So basically, because people sometimes come yeah. to the toilets and say their honest opinions about what they think <laughs> about a film, because it's not the foyer, and they you know they might be just yakking and sort of yeah. Yeah, so mate, they've been going to the wrong <laughs> cinema. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> hanging around the toilets after the show. Yeah, but I, I thought, oh, that's I want to get home, mate. That's a different, <laughs> different of yeah, well, lu- well, lucky for you, guys. You live close by to Warina, but when I go in there, I do visit the toilet because let me tell you, the big, you know, the big drink goes straight through you. Oh, the, the big gulps and everything they yeah, sell. Yeah, exactly they're, right. They're, they're all about the upsell. They, you know, the, yeah. the, the big sizes are always well, only a dollar dear and you get Yeah, that's right. Bucks. We'll take the mega slush puppy instead. Well, yeah. being the, being blokes the movie, surely it's not going to be a chock top with the with Coke and a um, popcorn. You're going to have a Chico roll on a six-pack or something. Hey, momentarily, let's go back to popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> is that the greatest touch you've ever seen in your life when you go to the movies? You see people buy these big buckets of the stuff, and they are a million to one of eating that. Yeah. There is more <laughs> spilt on the floor than they eat, and and they never. I don't know. I, mate, they, I, I just you know I don't they, buy popcorn. I you know they scoop it up and put it back in the warmer and sell <laughs> well, it for I, the I, next showing. Well, because there's that much on so. the floor. One would hope so, because there'd be enough to fill ten buckets on the floor after, and especially when the young'uns are in there. You and know, uh, in sorry, Beebs, in the um, in the uh, late eighties, early nineties, there was a, um, a documentary going around the country cinemas. It was about um, a family touring around Australia in the in the sixties, late sixties, early sixties, finding. Um, Aboriginal tribes that hadn't had much contact with white people and then going yeah, into rivers. Yeah. And it did the... So when we went to see it, it come to Broome when we were living there. Do you remember and, what it was called? Oh, I forget what it was called. It, um, I, I do, it's something about adventure, outback adventure or something like that. Anyway, we went to the yeah. Civic Theatre and watched it in Broome. And uh, the Civic Theatre in Broome wasn't really a cinema, but they set it up as one. And it, um, they, lay, they put all the little deck chairs out, and we're all sitting in the deck chairs, and they were selling popcorn there. So you'd buy your popcorn and sitting there, and the usual your bit of popcorn would fall on the floor. And, you know, the, the funniest part, watching the movie, was the cockroaches were coming from under the stage, oh. grabbing a bit of popcorn and running back under the stage <laughs> you'd see that you'd see a bit of popcorn moving down the center of the aisle and straight there's a cockroach with it good movie as big, though. As, as big as a rat yeah, yeah. oh unreal it, look it's 24 to 8 saturday fish and shadow day we better take a break we'll come back we'll talk more uh, about the blokes movie right after this and just uh, recap on uh, some of those times you can go and have a bit of a look see back with more in a minute can you stay with us this morning, Beave and Ronnie? How long is there till? Oh, it's up to you guys. How long do you what want? Time's your, what time's your breakfast appointment? Oh, there's no, no set set 
Yeah, they do an all-day brekkie. All-day buffet? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. All-day all brekkie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I tell you, most of them do nowadays. Yeah, yeah, yeah there are. Yeah. Yeah. Mate, I, I've kicked a bit of a goal here. I found uh, I found one of the local pubs that do a $10 all-you-can-eat buffet breakfast seven mm. days a week. Oh. <laughs> so you're there. <laughs> I, I, I'm not broadcasting live from there this morning, but I tell you, it was through no lack of trying. Oh, um, you'd be set up amongst the scrambled eggs. Oh, yeah, and it is. They were, I tell you, was, I popped in during the week. They were all right, like, too, let me tell you. And then there's a joint about two two shops away, and it does a, an all day brekkie for $5.50. Oh, that's the bargain. Bargain. Hey? <laughs> bargain. Jeez, mate, you've sussed them all. No cheap dinners at the local pub on a Tuesday? Oh, yeah, mate. T Bone yeah, yeah. Tuesday look, or Snitch yeah, or yeah, Wednesday? Look, um, yeah, no. Uh, every Sunday night at the RSL, they do the $10 T Bone. Yep. Um, so I've given that a regular nudge. Um, and uh, yeah, during the day, the local Chinese restaurant does a six dollar ninety five lunch. Uh, so I've given that a nudge. And um, my, yeah, of an evening, um, yeah, look, um, I think one of the pubs here does a twelve dollar fifty reef and beef on a Monday night. I think it is. So yeah, mate, I oh, look plenty. I'm all over it. Don't worry. I've got a diary of food. It's amazing the cost saving ways. God bloke. It is, can, isn't yeah, it? Get a, get a feed. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when you're batching it, you love these sort of things. Well, at work we've got a sushi bar, and, and one of the my co-workers tipped me off if you hit them uh, between three and four. They've marked everything down. So, really? Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, at the end of the day is a where, bit of a tip for sushi. Where bars. do you work? Yeah. What's your real job? We know Ronnie oh. does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what about, what's your real job? An actor. <laughs> an actor. <laughs> day, an actor. <laughs> day, day job, I'm a camera hugger there at the James Cook University. I, I'm with the journalism department, so loan out cameras, keep all the, the gear um, up to speed and repair. So you're the storeman. Yeah, yeah, like loans room officer and yeah, help help so, Storman. <laughs> takes the lunch orders. So, so that that marked in that'd be Miss Sushi, wouldn't it? Because uh, they've just opened up a shop out there, haven't they? Yeah, it's that's gone straight back so, to food. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's one. Like, like a boomerang, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like the uh, sardine beef rolls there. So oh yeah. Sauce, so. What about the mate? I tell you what, I like the little the combo packs where you get the sashimi, you get a bit of sushi, you get a bit of a um, um, bit of rice. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. That's a combo pack for about I don't know fifteen bucks or something. Yeah. Oh yeah, eight, oh, yeah. It might mate, be a bigger one. It might be about thirteen. Yeah, mate, it's a big one. I don't deal in I don't <laughs> deal in entree size <laughs> oh, meals okay. here, beef. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Matey. I give I give them away at primary school. <laughs> yeah. he, he don't, those little bits of sushi wrapped up in that black stuff. Inhale them, smoke yeah. them. They don't smoke even them. touch the side. <laughs> you know, they're perfectly round. They fit straight down your gullet. None, none of this canapé size stuff. Eh? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no nibbles. No nibbles. <laughs> like my mates asking me what a canapé was when we were at the world premiere because the invite said the, the canapés will be served. So. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> well, that, that's a thing there, Beef. It's a bloke's movie. You yeah, don't yeah, have you're serving canapes. Who are going to ask that? Well, that, that's why. Party pies? When, when we yeah. had the verdict and premiere and we were in charge, we said, right, it's going to be sausage rolls, little pies, yeah. and like exactly. yeah, and beer. So, yeah, yeah. what you need? <laughs> that little Cheerio thingies in tomato sauce. Yeah. Well, I wanted yeah. to do that, but there's some people that said, ah, that's a bit too common. I'm like, oh, oh, what are they calling? Oh, hang on, there's some little, little <laughs> cocktail <laughs> things. That, you know, you've got to set the scenario. I mean, like, you don't want to be having finger food. No, can you imagine? A, you know, I mean, can you can imagine mm. a bloke going, "I'll give you bloody finger food, mate." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've, I've heard about. Yeah, people. could you imagine someone walking into Blue Singlet and a pair of stubbies? Oh yes, I'll have a canapé, thank you, <laughs> with a glass of champers. <laughs> I've heard, heard stories of Burdick and Blake's going down south for weddings, and some of these are real posh weddings. Like, oh, very much. Yeah, very, uh, what, a la carte and all this sort of stuff. Anyway, some of them basically have been starving by the end of the speeches <laughs> yeah. and have ordered in Eagle Boys or pizza, like you know, at his wedding and the. Bride and bride's been disgusted, like saying, "I'm paying a fortune for this wedding, and they're ordering pizza." Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just don't, start don't eating you, the cake. <laughs> don't you love it when you get a plate the size of a steering wheel that's got a size of a, a piece of meat on it, the size of a tic tac, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and you pay you pay premium oh, for it? Oh, yeah, through the thirty nice. five, forty dollars. In yeah. that in that case, you should make edible plates. <laughs> so well, you yeah, nibble exactly. the food off it and then just yeah. chow into the plate. I have those edible plates when I go to the Chinese restaurant. I buy the bag of prawn chips and keep putting the rice and everything on them. Yes. I use them as my plate. Yeah, nice, the old prawn chips. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. 
Beautiful. So, anyway, Beaves, sorry, mate. Yep. So, Beeves, did you expect it to take off at Townsville and Charters as quick as it did, or no, not really? It was because um, once we had our, our good run there in the Burdick and we outsold Wolverine, give Hugh Jackman a bit of a touch up. I can see why. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Rob Webb, um, Rob and Evelyn Webb from the Delta Cinemas in the Burdick, and so do you mind if we shoot an email out to some of the other independent cinemas and let them know how well it did? I said, like, no, go for your life. You know what I mean? So they sent the email out and just left it with them. Yep. And I thought, right, I won't badger them or anything if they if they call and they take it on board. And, um, yeah, so it's just going organically, which is great. Organically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. University <laughs> sounds something. very posh, doesn't <laughs> it? Going go and break guns. Virally. You know, where yeah, you're break. Right. <laughs> so it'll, it'll eventually viral. head out further west to Mount Isa. I hope We're so, hoping. yeah. We've sent some um, information out to them. And um, once Ingham's gone all digital, they're converting to digital at the moment, yep. I understand, uh, probably shoot them an email, say, hey, you know, see how it goes here in Townsville. What do they do at the moment? What do they hold a candle in front of the... Uh in front of it and wind it by hand or something. By the way, I just know it's it's celluloid and they're making the switch now. So What's which celluloid? Oh, I thought I had that around me, but <laughs> <laughs> um, well, film film emulsion oh, is known known as celluloid. So, but I think it's a case they're being forced to. I think almost by year's end, you won't be able to get a movie on f traditional film. film to show in a theatre anymore because the oh. distributors are loving that. You know, just mail out a hard drive, yeah, get them back, right. recycle them. You know, they don't have yeah. all these printing costs anymore. So, yeah, of, of running off, because I think it's like, something like $10,000 a print, yep. you know, to run off um, celluloid film. So what do they do wow. now? Just get on YouTube, put in blokes, burn the copy that someone's had, and then play <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> oh, no, a bit more involved than that. We've got to post them up. Uh, it's called a digital cinema package where yep. it's all on a hard drive, and it's like a 100 gigabyte file. Um, and there's, you know, the big distributors use keys where all the films can be locked down. So just say you want to show no, a hypothetical movie, you want to show, you know, Kenny 2 or something, the distributors can say, right, you can't even play this on your system until... 10 minutes to midnight on whatever date and yep. then it's time bomb so it'll stop playing after two weeks and this because the if every every cinema with digital um servers the servers have a digital certificate so the key has to marry up to the certificate and then they check the, they check the time and only at a certain time will the film get unlocked to even play i mean it's it's really amazing stuff be going on behind yeah. the scenes they borrowed it from the military the system they said right we want something that's rock solid that you know is virtually uncrackable so they went to the military and said what have you got and this is the system they came up with so yeah. fairly high tech for mm. for a Cinema, you just thought they'd play the movie, switch it off, and that's it at the end of the yeah, day. Exactly. Yeah. There's been been a couple of gaffes, though. I heard at one cinema they were going to play Expendables 2, um, and unfortunately the guy who types up the keys, uh, he left off the two. So sent him the keys for Expendables. So they had a, a cinema full of people, you know, with their co Coke and yep. soft drink and popcorn yeah, and everything. with an old movie. <laughs> and uh, it wouldn't play, because, yeah, you'd, until yep. you get a green tick on your server, you can't play it. And so the wow. mad, mad panic, they had to phone um, phone the distributors like on midnight or whatever it yep. was because it was it was for a premiere and um, they had to madly email type up a new key in the key generator and email it out to them to unlock the film so no. too That's complicated it, it, Ronnie <laughs> oh, no. did you mate yeah. when you record your CDs and your songs no. is it that complicated no, I never like that mate same with these canopies I thought they were bloody on the bag of ute you know yeah, canopies, yeah. 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 canopies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's gold it's all yeah. gone mate it's gone well, we, we we look forward to the Townsville, the Charters Towers, and further along, yeah, and seeing how he's going. But but I'm I'm going to head over on Sunday and watch the movie. Good on you, mate. Not this Sunday, next Sunday. Yeah, and uh, have a bit of a chuckle, and we might see you there. We're Maybe. trying to get yeah. the boys up or to appear, you know, someday. They're one of the ships. Yeah. I think one of the viewing there. Yeah, that'd be tenth, nice. The tenth, I'm going to go see because I'm back on the tenth. All oh, right, from your charters. Yeah, yeah I'll head yeah. down. Yeah. Uh, just give, give give two bags a few days' notice so he doesn't have to clean or shave or you know so he can look the part <laughs> or, or and get out there rolling in a bit of get out there rolling in a bit of that old black cane dust, yeah. mate. You, you know those theatre type. He's liable to jump up in front of everyone and start reciting Shakespeare or something. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wear his little frilly skirt and start doing oh, Shakespeare. Yeah, he's liable to do it. like that. Yeah, you can't liable, take him anywhere. They're liable to do anything because they did the full Monty in the Burdekin, and apparently mm. the finale at the end is they. they we went in front Disgusting. of the whole town, just went the full Monty, yeah, threw the hats away, and yeah. That was it. Yeah, yeah. 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 That might have been... We uh, heard the laughter from here, B. 
Yes. We could hear the town laughing. And that, not very big, not well, very well built there in that area, aren't Because <laughs> when I was warning him about, you you know, especially Magic's character, I said, you've, you've got a bedroom scene, are you going to be comfortable with and with this? And is your wife going to be comfortable with this? And then he, he regaled me with this full Monty story. I thought, well, if, you know, if you're that brazen, you, you'll have no qualms with doing Yeah, this will be scene. easy. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fellas, know, we look... Well, I don't know, hey, Beef, hey? out of interest, Beef, how do they do that in the real movies, mate? Are the um, bedroom scenes, yeah. Yes, yeah, because they're in, they're in the, you know, they're in the full, you know, birthday suit. Yeah, well, like, uh, they're meant to, meant to basically, yeah, wear a lot. Of, you know, like sometimes the ladies will wear like a flesh-coloured g-string, and they play with the lighting a lot. And but at the end of the day, they've got to get pretty up close and personal. And, Fair dinkum. There's it, a bit of movement going on there, Beef. Yeah, like, you get excited watching it. Imagine well, lying there and you're sitting up looking at it. Well, if, if you Google sort of some of the, um, like, bed, bedroom scenes and the mythology behind some, there's some rumours out there that certain scenes in certain films, it's not acting. It's really happening. It's a close yeah. set with just a director and a camera person. And, yeah, there are, there are some rumours that certain scenes, it's it's Bit really of double-sided tape, mate. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. I'd need steel jocks on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you're safe, mate. Bit of glad wrap, you'll be fine. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm fair dinkum. <laughs> <laughs> Gaffer tape and yeah, zip ties. Uh, I'm sure there's I no need way. that operation, Mike, for that, that Louis you were talking about. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. No, the, the uh, key, what's it, make it hard. Stiffer. Yeah. I, it, you just need half a tablet of Viagra, mate. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just to get past your slippers when you go into the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and it, yeah, 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 something. Something like that. Well, they, they uh, do just, in some scenes. They, I hear they do like body doubles, like when they go for the close-ups at someone else's bodies, and mm. they probably find a few eunuchs off the street to like, yeah, keep yeah, they the use Ron. <laughs> <laughs> mate, yeah. I, I did see that. I did see that. <laughs> oh, that's a bit rough. <laughs> yeah, they had me in the cupboard there in the bedroom. <laughs> hey, that's they, a different I, kind of. Oh yeah, I bet you were in the <laughs> cupboard <laughs> during that scene, mate. I bet you were. And, and I'm Batman. <laughs> did you? Uh, that, that's a thing. Was it? It was just a closed room, like the boys never stood in there behind the camera watching your film. Oh, it, was, it was funny because we, we shot that after we came back from um, Cooktown and shooting all our road scenes, three weeks of filming. Anyway, because um, everyone's saying, when are you doing that scene? And I'd tell them, the amount of volunteers I had, like if you need someone to hold a boom pole or a reflector, it's like, I'm like, now I've got a full crew. Like for the rest of it, we're on a skeleton crew. But come to this bedroom scene, every man and his dog wanted to be on set. So, oh, I bet. But, they did. No, there was only two of us basically. Yeah, sort of uh, as as crew, um, and then um, yeah, then the the actress. So yeah, mate, I'm hoping Big Jim, Ant, Lance, and Fred are out there in the towers. I hope they're going to go to this thing. We might turn up out there one day and see them all because they're blokes I work with at Raven. Yes, they're all the old miners out there, so they're all, all the young miners. Yeah, all, yeah. all the fellas I work with. So yeah. hopefully they're on the ball out there and they go and have a look at it. And, and our on-set on photographer was Rob Bagnall, who's mm, a um, yeah, well-known yeah. Charters Towers photographer. Yeah. So it's um, good that it's coming to him, his hometown too. So. Oh, it'll be good. Look forward to it. Yeah, mm. Awesome. Thanks again, fellas. Oh, thanks yeah, for having Yeah, good us. to coming see you, Beef. We'll thanks, Ronnie. We'll see you at the screen. Thanks, buddy. Off to the breakfast now they are. Yeah, you're going to have a dirty old snagger too, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll let you all know how what we think about it. We'll love it. A actually, if you on, a actually if you want to, uh, you know, get you know get down there and sit on a nice old deck, you could uh, go down to the motorboat club. They do breakfasts on a weekend, don't they? Yeah, there's breakfasts all over. The boys yeah. will be. They should be getting shouted now. Their notoriety. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Exactly well, we, right. We, we wear the shirts, hoping, but yeah, no freebies yet. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah how about you wash them once or twice? And <laughs> <laughs> all right, fellas. Thanks okay, for thanks coming for having in. Us. Cheers. Right, yeah, see, boys. see you, boys. Good on you. Yeah, plenty happening there tomorrow. And don't forget tomorrow at the uh, World Theatre in Charters Towers, the screening of blokes around 1.30 tomorrow. So if you're in the Towers this morning, uh, you can pop down there, grab your ticket for tomorrow if it already hasn't sold out, and it should be a great screening of uh, blokes tomorrow. It is 7 to 8, Saturday Fishing Show. We'll be back with more very shortly. Nathan Goodwin, Gary Powers, and Joy Dobe. This is the Saturday Fishing Show. Booze, barbecues, and women talking about blokes. Ah, blokes. There's no fame and doubt about them. What would we ever do without them? Talking about blokes. Down the shed under the ute, or crabbing up the creek. 
Forty scores, stock in the fridge, talking shit, hunting pigs. Not enough hours in a week.